Hello again, it's Lock Noob, and well, I rarely buy brand new locks because they're just expensive and you know, I just like to pick them really, so being second hand, it doesn't really bother me. But I couldn't find a second hand Kale Killet dimple lock, and I've heard quite good things about them, I just never had the experience, so I bought a brand new one. It wasn't too bad on eBay, um, about £20 or thereabouts, plus shipping then. Um, I don't know, it's just a nice six pin dimple lock. This is the 164 SNC, which is quite a common kale killet lock from what I can tell. Five year guarantee, made in Turkey, of course. Uh, anything about this more? Yep, got some other stuff here. It says each side with six pins. I guess that's the Bible in the core. Pins in the plug made of hardened steel and brass with four anti-drill pins. Okay, well, I guess we'll see what that looks like in a minute. What's quite nice is the lock itself comes with a car divider between the keys and the screw which you need to install it so it doesn't scratch. Try to drop it all out, leave the screw in there. And you can see some uh, insulation instructions or something on the inside. You've got to destroy the box to really read those. So let's not have a look at those. Um, I take it the key's gonna work perfectly because it's brand new, good, um, as you'd expect. The bitting of this is epic, by the way. So it does matter with dimple locks what the bitting's like because if you've got really super low cuts like that, you've got very long key pins, which are very, very easy to overset. And if you try to pass those to get a very, very um, high cut or short key pin, then, uh, then that actually is a bit of a challenge. One good thing is this is a, a 50 by 30 millimeter barrel. Why is that important? Well, actually, it just really helps when you use a vise like this because you can put this bit in the vise drawers. Um, it gets a really good purchase on the lock and it doesn't mess up the uh, the cam. So yeah, is it, is it, it's <laughs> completely nonsense, but uh, what are you gonna do? Right, so picking, got a flat flag, modified um, Honest Zhong Shi pick, just a Z bar, doesn't really matter what you use. Um, and going to tension anti-clockwise, pick clockwise. And I'm going to be picking along this warding ledge here. So just gonna go down, nothing on one, nothing on two, nothing on three, four, five's binding a little bit. Just gonna wiggle the pick past it. Then I've got a click out of that, uh, same as six. Uh, back to one now, little click, two, three now. Oh, hit three and look at that, we're in a very deep false set. So I'm gonna say the spool pins in this are gonna be quite skinny. Um, one, two, little bit of cancer rotation on two. And we got it, but something's popped up. Um, I don't know what, so it's gonna release the tension a little bit. There we go, and try again. So I must have overset two a little bit, or some of the pins at the back, like there we go, five and six. Just need setting back to pin one, pin two, three there again. Okay, let's try pick two. Get nicely on it, counter rotation. We got it again, but we've definitely, I don't think that's overset, but we have, um, there we go, Hit had to hit three. There we go, got it that time. Three, uh, pin four, cancel rotation again. I got it, but we dropped a pin, hit three and we're open, there we go. So that wasn't too bad actually, was it? Just need a bit of care. What's nice is the spool pins in there are definitely, I think, very thin. Um, along the center of the pin, giving that really nice counter rotation. Um, and of course that means you've got to be very careful when you're, uh, I, I guess, doing the counter rotation on the pin so that it, it doesn't drop some pins along the way. Very good, right, so this is open. Um, I haven't gutted a um, <laughs> dimple lock for quite some time actually, so I've got to remember how to do that. And I think the idea is I rotate all of that the way around. Uh, uh, sounds stupid, but when you haven't done one for a while, you sort of forget, there we go. Then got my gut wrench, move that um, circlip around. It's one of the deformable ones. So I just hold it one side with a little screwdriver 
and just gently uh, tease it apart like this until, now what you don't want to do is overdo it. So you want to just sort of stretch that circlip open enough that you can slide it over the center of the lock. Um, otherwise you sort of can over deform them and they never go on quite as straight. So might not have got that quite as far as I want. So I'll give it a little bit more. It's, it's just that you can sort of rip these off, uh, which is okay if you've got spare circlips, but it's always nice to have the originals. And there you go, that should be enough. Just want to stretch it just enough to get it off. Um, like I said, you don't, it's, you can snap these in half if you're not too careful. Uh, and we've got it, we've got it, we've got it. There we go, perfect, just what we want. And that hasn't deformed too much. So you want to make sure that it's not twisted otherwise it doesn't go on properly afterwards. Right, so. I need one of those. Like that, and I've got to remember which side the pins are, they're there, so I need to tip it like this, and then try to pull out the plug. Sorry for talking to myself, it really has been a while since I gutted a dimple lock. I don't know what's inside it, so. Right, I might speed this bit up. And here we are. Now, I was right actually, these are nice skinny spools. Um, but the one thing I, should, I didn't necessarily notice but might have contributed to the, uh, the picking of this in some ways is that, let's have a look at this pin here a bit closer. That is definite beveling on the tops of the pin here, which means that it's very, very easily overset. Um, so combine that with a position with a, a really long key pin like this and which yeah you can see some light bevelling on the top really does make quite a big difference. Um, basically what that means is that if you tap these pins it doesn't feel like you're uh, setting it but that bevelling can just hang up in the keyway. So I think these have yeah ever so slight bevel tops but the driver pins don't. Um, that would certainly make them harder, but they've got really, really nice spools. I mean, generally nice spools here. Uh, in the right positions as well, so where the shorter key pins are, that's where you want to have these nice long spools. Uh, this one won't really come into effect, and I certainly didn't feel that spool, but that one and this one here uh, in positions two and four definitely feel those and definitely feel that counter rotation. So. Yeah, really nice, very nice lock. I'd actually recommend picking that. It's a, it's a fun uh, lock with some really epic counter rotation. You might have to go back and forth on a few pins. Yeah, it's everything a picker would want really for a little bit of a challenge. Anyway, let me know what you think of this uh, KL164 SNC. Have you ever picked a KL Kill It lock? What do you think of them? Let me know and I'll see you all next time.